Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at rotation and player movement with your thumbsticks. So in the previous video we covered teleportation, so now I'm going to actually quickly show you a simplified um, method of movement by just using the joysticks. For this I created a new pawn. I just uh, duplicated the old pawn and removed all the extras that we've gotten in what that we've done in previous videos and also moved removed all the value variables. So they clop completely new pawn basically and the only script that's in here is begin play that just sets the um tracking origin. So to make this work we actually have to go to the project settings and make some axe mappings. So these are the thumbsticks that we're going to be needing and you can just uh, create the inputs by clicking on the drop down and because I'm using oculus I will be using I'll only input for Oculus, Thumbstick, Controllers, so Thumbstick X, Oculus, Thumbstick Y, and Oculus, left hand Thumbstick X. Okay, and the only value you have to change is on the Y. This is you can change it here to negative one if you want to invert it, but uh, I don't want to invert it, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay, so now going back to our joystick movement play controller, we are going to start with the movement. So we're going to call out the thumbstick. Um, I'm going to start with X and with, this is going to be a really simple script um, that we're going to be writing but we actually need a class, a reference to a class. So the class we're going to need is a floating pawn movement. If you don't know about axes, this is going to be calling every frame per second and we don't want it to be called every frame per second um, because we're not using any values when the axes are completely zeroed out so we're gonna create take the value that's being inputted to a double equal and if a double equals to zero we're gonna bring in a boolean a branch if it's double equal to zero, nothing's gonna happen. But if it's not double equal to zero, we are gonna do a add movement input. And to get these values, we are gonna do a multiplier from the uh, base input value and that will be your scale value you can promote this to a variable and you can call the variable movement speed okay and we're just going to compile to do a default value of one you can play around with these values yourself to see what's the best um, input value that you can get the last thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing our camera and we need the right vector. So get right vector and from the world uh, direction we are actually going to make a vector. So make vector, 
we're gonna take the right world vector we gonna split the pins and the only values that we actually mean be meeting is the x and the y we're not using the z because z is going straight up and you can implement if it's part of your game but at the moment i'm not going to implement it because i don't have a way to showcase it okay this is the base script of movement we're going to actually just bring in the font right y and we're just going to be copying all of this and do a paste and just hook everything up the only thing that's going to be changing is instead of getting the right vector we are going to get the forward vector expand it and again just for x and for y values okay now that we have finished the movement let's work on rotation i'm going to be showing you snap rotation pretty uh, basic concept we're going to grab the thumbstick uh, the left side on the x-axis and from here we will be doing a double equals with a branch If it double equals zero, um, then nothing's gonna happen for now. Uh, but if it does not equal zero, we are gonna have to see uh, if it's turning left or right. The two values that I have added is the rotation dead zone and rotation angle um just basic floats for dead zone is at 0 0.02 rotation angle is at 0, 0, 0. um we are going to be using them to see which um direction the player is trying to move at so for these branches we are going to be grabbing the axis value doing a Gretchen man equal can feed it into the first branch we're gonna grab the rotation dead zone do a get and add it there for the second branch we're also gonna grab the axis value and do a smaller than equals gonna feed it in there and to get this value we're gonna take the dead zone and we're gonna multiply it by another float and we're just gonna multiply it by negative one to get the direct opposite of the dead zone value so for these branches um, if you do the greater than equal we want to turn by 45 degrees and if you do smaller than equal it's going to be a negative 45 degrees so we're going to take the rotation angle we are going to do a set and this is going to be 45 and another rotation angle to a set negative 45 from here we actually want to do a do once the reason why this is important is if you don't do a do once you you're just constantly going to be snapping around and you're in, not really going to be stopping in until you actually leave a lever and we don't want to add <clears throat> we actually want them to 
to constant snapping by using the thumb stick and not just holding the thumb stick in and they will be going round and round and round. For the reset, we are gonna grab the false value, ah, oh, the true value from the first branch that we made and also and something else that I'll show you later down the line. From here, we need a set actor transform. And the target, we're just gonna keep it empty, but what we're gonna do is take the transform, the new transform, we're gonna split it, and we're gonna also split the rotation because we need just the bare bone values because we are just gonna be rotating, rotating the player on the Z axis, not none of our other axes. Okay, for the transform um, location and scale, we are actually just going to be doing a get actor transform. We're going to split it open. And we're just going to be grabbing the raw values from the location and scale. For the transform, we are going to do a get actor transform, get actor rotation. We're going to take the y value and we're going to add it to the angle rotation that we created okay let's quickly test it as you can see i can rotate around 45 degrees great the last thing that i actually want to show you guys is um a better way to reset the do ones because at the moment, the only time um, it resets it is if you basically completely leave the thumb stick to zero out value. So we're going to actually take the branch here and make another branch. And it's going to take the true value to reset it. And the conditions for the branch is going to be taking the actual value to a greater than and also take the actual value smaller than and we're going to do a or And basically values what we're going to be putting in here is negative 0 0.2, oh, 0 0.1, and just a normal 0 0.1. If you want to take the dead zone and bump it up to a 0.5, you can actually take these values and bump them up to 0.2 and point negative 2 oh, negative 0.2 and you actually have a bit more room uh, for the player to keep on rotating without li leaving the thumbstick completely okay that was rotation and movement if it was educational remember to like um, and if you want to see more content surrounding Unreal Engine development, um, in the future I'll be covering a lot more than just normal VR. So please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.